All right, so tell us about your album. My album, it's a collage, neo soul poetry, a little bit of blended mix of jazz, hip hop, R and B. It's uh, straight from the belly and pit of my soul, you know. Right. Combined with a little bit of wordplay, production on the words, you know, elucidation of thought and mind, the mental, with the physical, the sensual, the intellectual, the academic, you know. It's a unique blend, you know, what really makes uh what makes up the core of soul music. You know, it's all about expression. Coming straight from the heart, straight from the mind. Straight from the soul. That's what the album is, Memoirs of a Neo Soul Poet. So it's just glimpses of my thoughts and ideas and feelings and emotions. And, you know, a window. Um, a window into um, into my life. You know what I'm saying? Memoirs of a Neo Soul Poet. Coming to summer 2010. Okay, so what do you think that the listeners will know about you when they first hear, let's say the first song, what do you think they're gonna know about you as an artist? To be honest with you, to be honest with you, when they first hear my music, they're gonna be <clears throat> kind of perplexed, a little confused for a split second, because they're not gonna know how to place it, identify it. You know, we grew up in a society where everybody wanna place labels on everything, you know, and so, uh, they're going to have an initial trouble trying to label it, trying to understand exactly what is this? Is this right. poetry? Is this rap? What is, he, is he trying to sing? Exactly what is he doing? But once they listen to it right off, right off the back, they say, oh, this is something different. Oh, this is sweet here. This is something nice. You know, and it's something they can um, vibe with. You know, everybody, from the street cats, you know what I'm saying, in the streets, you know, cats off the streets love my, love my music. I'm talking about hip-hop cats, rappers, you know what I'm saying, thugs. You know what I'm saying? Women, you know what I'm saying? Adults, mature people, people like to dance and step, you know what I'm saying? And get it in that way, you know? But um, everybody got it. Everybody can feel and identify with it. Everybody. Everybody. My auntie told me the other day, she been listening to that sucker all day for two days in a row, ain't stopped playing it yet. Right, right. Me too. Me too. Me too. It's like that. It's like that. So, for the women that's listening, what is your project? gonna do for women? How do you think women will relate to it? Well, you know what? Well, with respect to women, women is gonna feel like, like, like they finally found somebody that can articulate how they feel or what their perception of what a good man should be. How he should carry himself, how he should treat a woman, how he should love a woman. And um, so a woman would normally um, find infatuation with my music. Right. I'm handsome, by the way. You might find infatuation with me. But um, that's not the intent. The intent is to really just uh, give exposure, though, to Neil Soul Portion, what it's all about, and to show everybody, you know what I'm saying, that it's, uh, it's a genre of music out there that is not typical of, of what's currently out there, but it's, it's, it's a wide variety of good music out there, good soul music out there, you know. And so I just really want to show y'all what Neil Soul Poetry is all about. That's all. Okay, so same question about a rapper. So we got rappers and hip hop heads. You know, we're all lyrical. You know, when it comes down to it, everybody's lyrical. We come from the same lyrical family. So, you know, what do you think hip hop artists and rappers could take away from your project? Well, you know what's funny about that is that the music that I do is so connected to hip hop, so connected to R and B, so connected to neo soul that everybody from every genre of music identifies with it and has an interest in it. Um, all type of rappers wanna, wanna, you know, link up with me and get on a song, you know, let's do a song together. You know, one of the first brothers that, that, that told me he wanted some real stuff on his music, on his album, is my man Ahmad. 
you know what I'm saying, that, uh, that, that Northern Dope, you know what I'm saying, with DJ Smalls, the brother of mine, you know what I'm saying, right, right. shout out to them, to them brothers down there in Northside and Lansing, getting that, getting, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing on the promotion on the rap side, but yeah, my, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to get with him, we're going to do some things together, because he's one of the first, you know what I'm saying, true, you know what I'm saying, hip-hop cats, you know what I'm saying, rap cats from the streets, you know what I'm saying, they, they speak about some real stuff, right, you know, right. track 15 on his album, you know, on the other side, hmm, that, that's some Neo Soul stuff right there, and that's pretty much what I do. So yeah, rappers uh, identify with it, you know what I'm saying, I love to, you know what I'm saying, link up with me, you know what I'm saying, hopefully I get a I get a track on the illest compilations uh, Nelly Nell Promotions is doing, I'll get a track on there, get that submitted to him as soon as possible, you know, give a little exposed to Neo Soul Poetry, but in, 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 in a nutshell though, you know what I'm saying, Neo Soul Poetry is connected to hip hop and rap. Uh, in such a way as it is connected to neo soul poetry and and spoken word poetry, you know what I'm saying? With a little R&B flavor to a little jazz ensemble and all that good stuff. Right, right, all right. Next question. So you can relate to some of the people that's listening about being incarcerated and that whole, you know, you got a lot of rappers and a lot of entertainers, you know, when they get in the studio, you know, we call them studio gangsters. You know, studio thugs or whatever. You know, what do you have to say about that sentence? How you know you live the life, you know, that we'll just say, you know, a little street life, you know, a little incarceration. So how can you elaborate on that? You know, on the way that a lot of entertainers they glamorize, you know, a life that you actually live. You know, what do you right. have to say about that? Right, right, right. Um, <clears throat> in all actuality, you know, it's like. You know, I speak in my poetry a lot straight from my experiences, um, my knowledge, um, the viewpoint, the project windows I've looked out of. A lot of people don't really know me, you know what I'm saying, uh, my history and where I come from, you know, but I come from an era and time um, with the birth of hip hop, um, the introduction of crack cocaine into the streets of America, uh, flooding Detroit and other cities around the mid-Michigan area in which I resided and lived um, and got caught up in the influx uh, of the street life and I lived the street life you know pretty much my entire youth um, until it ultimately landed me into an incarceration um, a wrongful incarceration at that mm. but nevertheless it was my street my, 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 my street life the street label um, for my actions uh, my history my rap sheet so to speak to put me in a predicament to even be accused to even be used as a scapegoat to be sent to the penitentiary for a crime I ain't had nothing to do with. Mm. Um, but in a nutshell though, you know, um, I speak directly from, oftentimes, my history and what I went through, you know. And uh, so, with rappers and other people, you know what I'm saying, who write music, you know, um, it's hard to distinguish between somebody that is giving you a story or telling you a story uh, of what they've seen or witnessed or come to understand about the street life, what people call, you know, gangster rapping. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the streets, the dope game, you know what I'm saying? Gunslaying and shooting and robbing and, you know what I'm saying? Riding on 20s and getting money and all that type of stuff. A lot of people, you know, uh, rap, you know, about those things uh, through the eyes of other people, meaning that they themselves weren't participating in that lifestyle. Um, we call them studio gangsters, or people call them studio gangsters, or whatever the case may be. Um, but at the same time, they also have the right to tell their story. It may not be them directly, but it may be a part of the story of their life or what they witnessed. Mm -hmm. Now, some people ain't capable of articulating and letting the people know that this isn't my life. I'm just telling you about what I've seen. And when people aren't, don't distinguish it from that, then you think that what they rap about is what they're saying they did. And if that's the case, we know that a lot of people that rap, <laughs> you know, didn't do what they say they rap about. You know, but I, I like to you give them the benefit of the doubt and, and, and think that they are rapping from their own perspective uh, about what they've seen and witnessed in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure a Bushwood Bill from the Ghetto Boys, you know what I'm saying? My mind's playing tricks on me when he was rapping about that. I'm sure he wasn't really trying to assert that he actually literally went through that mentally. Maybe he did. I don't know. But it's unlikely. Uh, but in any event, you know what I'm saying? He was, you know, uh, using a, a metaphor and an expression to show you what was going on in his mind. You know, and um, myself, all the songs that I do, I speak directly from my own experience, you know what I'm saying, or how I feel about certain things. I got this uh, song called My Story, and um, that's what that particular song does, you know what I'm saying, it tells my story. Which we would love to hear. 